Hi, my name is Rebecca Lee, and I co-wrote this book, The Mercury Detoxification Manual, with Andy Keller, PhD. And I think this is one of the more important videos that I've ever done. So I had a little back and forth with Dr. Chris Exley recently. He is the scientist who has specialized in aluminum and who got some samples of brain tissue from autistic kids and found they were packed with aluminum. I told Dr. Exley that Andrew Cutler concluded that aluminum is retained in the presence of mercury and that it will come down on its own when you chelate out the mercury. I asked him if he had tested his brain samples for mercury. He, he said he had not. He said that in his 40 years of studying aluminum that he had never seen any research about its relationship with mercury and if I knew of any, could I send it to him? Uh, in hair test interpretation, Andy described how he came up with the five statistical texts we apply to hair tests to look for the deranged mineral transport that only mercury causes to any extent. Uh, Andy's girlfriend, Joanne, who has access to, access to his computers, told me that his observations about how mercury causes the body to retain certain other metals also came from looking at hair tests. On page two in hair test interpretation, Andy explains where all the hair tests he examined came from. He says he compiled information from several alternative doctors who had learned to intuitively connect odd-looking hair tests to health problems. Doctors also sent him tests to look at to ask, ask him what he thought. People on internet sites would send him tests. He got to see examples of normal healthy tests when the students at a local medical school all did tests on themselves. 80% of these came back with normal looking mineral transport, but he was able to discuss health histories with the 20% that did not. He saw another 100 tests with detailed health histories from students and staff at another medical school. He got to look at the hair test for a research study done on autistic children with a control of normal children. Over the 20 years he was doing this, he must have seen thousands of hair tests of toxic and healthy people. He also reported an HTO, uh, hair test interpretation that it is common to see serial urine tests where mercury stops coming out in significant amounts, but other metals come pouring out at various intermittent times. This occurs, he explains, when enough mercury has been removed from the relevant body compartment to clear the mineral transport protein that handles that particular element. He remarks that which ele elements will be retained by a particular individual and the order that they will come out is unpredictable, but that particularly arsenic, antimony, nickel, tin, and aluminum can get retained because of the mercury to the point where they cause their own signature symptoms. These toxic elements are synergistic with the mercury, which means the combination of symptoms with the mercury is more than the mere sum of their parts. When they start to come out, the toxic person can experience significant improvement for this reason. Robert Kennedy keeps pointing out, Robert Kennedy Jr. keeps pointing out that 50% of our kids suffer from some kind of chronic illness. It's not just autism. Autism, although, although the worst case scenario pretty much is, is kind of the tip of the iceberg. Other problems the kids get are diabetes, dangerous food sensitivities and allergies, uh, um, autoimmune issues, juvenile arthritis, eczema and cancer, plus all the neurological stuff ranging from Asperger's through ADD, ADHD and on up until autism. Those are just off the top of my head. In the detox manual, we list under the symptoms for aluminum, confusion, poor mental focus, cardiomyopathy, dementia, and a trigger for sarcoidosis. But mercury, mercury has hundreds of different symptoms and people get constellations of these. They get various labels from the me medical community. The symptoms range from indigestion up to psychosis and everything in between. A 2017 art journal article, which we mentioned in the detox manual states, quote, the resulting clinical picture can be different associated to over 250 symptoms involving the neurological, renal, re renal, respiratory, cardiovascular, hepatic, reproductive, and immune systems with phytotoxicity and genotoxicity in humans. On page 32 in Amalgam in Illness, figure four, Andy has a diagram of all the places mercury interferes in the HPA axis messenger system from the brain, through the hypothalamus, through the pituitary, to the adrenal glands, the thyroid, the liver, the pancreas, 
and the gonads, it messes with how this fantastic, crucial chemical messenger system works in 10 different places. And that is just one of the systems that it messes with. Another, of course, is that it clogs up the transport proteins that allow minerals to move across the cell membranes. And because of this, he was able to come up with his counting rules to test a hair test for mercury toxicity. It used to be that all the products that must not be named risk-aware people thought that the dysfunction and chronic illness we see in our kids was due to the mercury preservative. Then we got told that out of an excess of caution, the manufacturers took the mercury out of the pediatric schedule, so it can't be that anymore, obviously. Now everyone thinks the problem is the aluminum, and mercury is confusing to test for. It will show up low on hair tests, even when the person is massively toxic. So when I see a test with low mercury and high aluminum, and the essential minerals look messed up, that will confirm mercury in my eyes. So I propose that it was mercury, and it still is, that is capable of causing the vast range of dysfunction that our kids are experiencing. Andy stated that chelating autistic kids for mercury would be all 50% need to recover completely, that another 25% require chelation and some other kind of therapy, and that for the uh, final 25% who don't respond, that the problem is something other than mercury. I think in our kids' groups, we're even getting better results than that. Pretty much all of the little kids that have their hair tests posted by their parents show the, the deranged mineral transport that only mercury causes. Almost all of them start improving when you chelate them from mercury. The chelators we use do not touch aluminum. The problem was mercury, and it still is mercury. The, alumin and the other, aluminum and the other metals that the mercury causes the body to retain make everything worse. But the main task at hand is to detox mercury. I don't know where it's coming from, as it was supposed to have been removed from the pediatric schedule. And he postulate, postulated that pediatricians, because they have been told that mercury-containing products that must not be named are perfectly safe, are using the adult ones on kids to save money. One thing for sure, though, the little kids in their legions are showing up in our support groups with positive hair tests and mercurial symptoms, and they improve when you chelate them from mercury. Um, I realize that all of this is very anecdotal and not very scientific. We don't keep records in our support groups, and our stories of improvement are based on testimonials. Ancy, but Andy once told me that he was good at getting sick people better, and he had decided to put his energy there. But he always emphasized to me that observation is the first step in the scientific method. We certainly have plenty of observation going on, and this French major hopes that some smart, rigorous, actual scientist will take a look at what I'm talking about here because it's really important.